Here at historic Berkeley Castle, founded in the early medieval period, we shall observe the artist at work on a painting commissioned by the creator of a chivalric tale based on the old legend of Hellelisle and Hildebrandt. This is indeed a romantic love story set in the early 13th century about Hellelisle, the virtuous princess of a northern European kingdom, a woman of unrivalled beauty and profound wisdom, and of Hildebrandt, an English prince, mercenary and adventurer, the leader of her bodyguard of twelve knights, who had been recruited from Europe by her father the king. Four other characters are important in the unfolding of this adventure. Prince Paulus, stepbrother to the princess, Teutonic warrior Karl von Altenburg, one of her escorting party, who still bears a gruesome injury from the battlefield. Ethla, the mentally and physically impaired servant girl. And lastly, Hellelisle's father, King Thorstein. The composition of the canvas illustrates a dramatic incident in the narrative, set on an isthmus by Lake Idis, with the figures of Hellelisle mounted side saddle on her rearing steed, and of Hildebrandt, her protector, who is suddenly confronted by a pair of pagan Prussian marauders. This encounter takes place beneath forbidding clouds, following a violent storm, heralding the phantasmal Die Wilde Jagd, a terrifying cataclysm which had enveloped the heavens only to recede out of sight at the far side of the great water. As knight and princess witness this apocalyptic scene, it was as if the hostile heathens had emerged from this supernatural spectre at the very spot where it had vanished, only then to bear down on them with evil intent. The first approach came via my website, and it was a very interesting inquiry. Uh, from the email that was sent, it was very descriptive, and I got the impression from the first reading of the request that the customer was actually either viewing a painting or actually had it very clearly set out in their mind exactly what they wanted, so I couldn't wait for the next stage of process. It was clear that Roger had spent many hours researching the painting and the story behind the painting, and the amount of detail and the story that Roger told me gave me great inspiration for the painting itself. Roger had obviously spent many hours researching the images for the painting, such as the costume, the bridalry, the horses themselves, and the scenery based in Northern Europe. But nonetheless, there were still Im images and references that I had to provide for myself to make myself happy with progressing the painting to where it is today. The detailing in the painting is one of my favourite parts of a painting. It's not only the signal that you're coming towards the end of a commission, but it's also the part that I enjoy the most. Being able to get into the fine details and using the very finest of brushes, just to go give those details that you need when you stand close to the painting, so it works far away and very close as well. The commission has been a fantastic opportunity for myself to work with somebody like Roger, who thoroughly enjoy, obviously thoroughly enjoys all the work that he puts into his story writing. The opportunity to work on such a painting is something I've been waiting to do for a long while, and also I think it's a great legacy for not only myself but also for Roger. Mm -hmm.